car we got on. You wanna try that one? Nah, I mean if you want to. If you know how to do that. Welcome to the episode of Jay's Finest. Once I can find some light, so happy to be back in 2020, racing the Mustang again. Same setup, nothing different. The only difference is that we're gonna lower the tire pressure today because we wanna make sure that we get a little bit more meat in the ground. Now, if you can hear me, just a small little detail. Um, we don't expect a lot of miracles happen with the Mustang. We still gotta fix the camber issue in the rear mirror. That's why we think we don't grip as much. So if we can fix that with an upper control arm, we can probably race uh, efficiently without skidding the tires. I mean, we have pretty wide tires, so we'll see. So first up is gonna be my dad, and I'm gonna record his races, and then I might race a friend which with an RS, we might race them, I don't know yet. Um, but besides that, uh, let's get to it. Six thirty six, ninety five miles per hour. Kind of a puff of something out of the left bank header. And uh, we're going to go check that one out, just to make sure. No, he's going to raise this track. Ford. Uh, you can see he's making right. a lot of power out of the spray. Thing. And the car was, uh, the truck was all loaded up, ready to go. Right in the light. Right in the 600. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. back here fishing so we're finally ending fast lane friday so happy for 2020 we are back here again racing uh learn a new trick in the mustang is which is kind of obvious but i never you know i don't have a lot of seat time in the mustang which is pretty much pedaling meaning you step on the gas let go the gas step on the gas so until it gets traction and you go um it's funny because i do that in video games i know it's not the most legit thing but it's something similar to it and i'm usually doing that on my finger but not in my foot so now i'm doing it in my foot and actually the mustang hook Stay tuned, we might get some upper control arms to adjust the camber a little bit and we might also get some drag radials in the future. But something we're gonna do, we are gonna review the RS that we raced against so you guys can see why is it so fast and what must is done, which is not a lot, but still pretty quick. Remember to like and subscribe because a lot more racing videos, a lot more content is coming to the channel. So remember to hit that like button because it really means a lot to me and let other people know about what's going on in this channel because it does, you know, help. More views. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching and... Yeah.